All right, how's it going guys? Today we're gonna be working on solar on our camper over here. Uh, it's our family camper, we've had this a while and uh, it's about time we converted to solar. As you can see, we've got a couple goodies over here. Two solar panels, 100 watt each. And we have a charge controller right there and a inverter. I'm not sure the specs of all this stuff. Uh, I'm kind of following what our family friend says to do. He's over here helping us out. So we'll see how today's project's gonna go. Okay, we just unboxed both of these solar panels and we've taken out the little clips and bolted all of them on, both the solar panels, the little razors. All right, got the solar panels on. Uh, we're getting ready to bolt them down. All the holes are drilled and marked. All right, we got this one all screwed down and sealed. And we're working on the second one. Uh, we have sealant, wiped down the area, put sealant, and then screwed it down. Working on the last one. Okay, we've finished uh, mounting these two solar panels. All that's left is to run the wires through the vent over there. I've removed the cover and they're all sealed up. All right, we're trying to run the wires up through that, down along here, and then behind the stove and to over there. That's the plan. It's kind of a tight fit. All right, as you can see, we got it running all the way down and out. Focus. Hard to see. Uh, the wire ran about to there where we need it. Now the batteries are on back that, in that area, so we gotta fish it through. Alright, now we get to start digging into this stuff. So the charge controller. Instructions. Probably won't need those. All right, this is the outside, uh, the battery box. We've ran this uh, under the oven and under the sink, and now these wires are coming out here. Um, the black is positive, and we got the white is negative. So, got them ran all the way out here. All right, we've got all the excess wire pulled up through the vent. We had to go through this vent. We were planning on doing that vent over there because uh, it's closer, but uh, we kind of get it uh, routed right. So we had to go through this vent. All right, it's all hooked up and it's charging. I have this ran all the way around here. We put some uh, tubing around it, the wires to make them last longer. It's wired in series. Between the two and ran to the vent over there and it's currently charging it's like a trickle charge because it's the sun's starting to set so projects basically done. all right all the solar panels are hard mounted wired all the way down to this charge controller I don't know if you can see there's a blue light on so we are getting power it's uh, getting pretty late so we're not getting much off the solar but it is working we have everything hooked up uh, the next step um, would be the uh, inverter we're gonna hook that up a little bit later okay I just want to do a brief run through of what we've done on the interior of this so we have the solar panels on the roof hard mounted and then we have the wires running over to this side to this vent over here you can see right there it runs all the way down uh, behind the heater underneath the stove and it pops out behind there and it runs to this charge controller. If you can see there's a little indicator light, I don't know if you can see over there, orange, um, to make sure this is working. And then also this has Bluetooth so we can connect to our phone on the app and see all the percentages and then to verify that it's actually working. 
and we have two wires running out of this behind all this stuff to the uh, through the battery box and connect to the battery so it charges the battery and then that system is complete and then we just have this inverter over here that we're gonna put behind we have to clear this out put it in the shelf um, bolt it down and run two wires from this to the battery and then I'm thinking we can make this a little bit easier because there's a switch right here but I really don't want to reach down there all the time to shut this on and off because you can put it in a less uh, power drawing mode. So you can take this and run an exterior switch that'll run up. Hopefully we can put it right here to kick this on and off. And um, this has a fan built in so I was a little worried because it's kind of a tight space about overheating. But it does have a fan so I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. It doesn't cause too much heat. So get that all bolted in and then this will be completely done. I'm not going to film the install of this. It's really straightforward. Like I said, just two wires, maybe some more wires for a switch. It's really simple and mounting it. So this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been a really fun project and it's a long time coming for solar on this camper.